In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix crashes, freezes, black screens and any other problems you might be experiencing in Forza Horizon 5 on your computer. So I have already done a part one to this video and if you haven't seen that video yet, I would recommend that you do click on the link that's in the description below first and check out all the methods that I show you in that video first. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and you do like this video, then be sure to click on that subscribe button if you want to see more videos on how to resolve problems with games crashing, freezing and also videos on how to improve the performance and FPS in games in Windows 10 or Windows 11. The first thing that you need to do is just ensure that your security software is not causing the issues in Forza Horizon 5. Now this is a method that I mentioned in the first video but it's one of the methods that really has resolved a lot of issues with crashing, freezing and other issues in Horizon 5. So I thought I'd just quickly mention it in this video as well. I have installed AFAST so I can show you how to put it into silent mode. But if you're using a different security software then it might be slightly different. If you're using AFAST the first thing you need to do is right click in the bottom right hand corner on the icon. You then need to go up to silent mode and select silent mode. This will now put the security software into like a game in silent mode and go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved the issue. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you want to do is just disable your security software just for a short period of time. For example, in AFAST, I can do 10 minutes so I can get a good idea to see if it's the security software that's causing the issue issue and if it turns out to be the security software then you will have to add horizon 5 to the exception list in the security software just remember though while the security is disabled if you turn it off you will not be protected from security threats we can now move on to the next method and that's to turn off game mode and to do this all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to click on settings we now need to select gaming and you then need to go down to game mode and you need to simply toggle game mode to off. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved the issue you're having. If that didn't fix the issue, then don't panic because the next thing we want to do is stay within the settings, but this time click on to home. You now need to go ahead and click on update and security and you now need to click on four developers and you need to ensure developer mode is turned off. If yours is turned on, then simply toggle this option here to off. And once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game and hopefully that's resolved the issue you're having with the game crashing or freezing or just giving you a black screen. If that wasn't the issue, then the next thing you want to do is just ensure you are not running any programs in the background. And programs that are currently causing a lot of issues with Forza Horizon 5 are programs like OBS Studio, Discord, XSplit, MSI Afterburner and Rivia Tuna and also Logitech G Hub has also been known to cause a few problems. So ensure none of those programs are currently running when you're going to play Forza Horizon 5. If none of those programs were the cause of the crashes in Horizon 5 for you, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the speaker icon in the system tray. You now need to select sounds and you now need to click on playback and you now need to select your speakers and you then need to click on properties. You now need to go to spatial sound and we then need to ensure this is turned off. If yours is currently on, you need to simply select off and then press OK and OK again and go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved the issue you're having. If that didn't, then the next thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below. You will then end up on the Microsoft site. We need to ensure we have the latest version of Visual C++ installed. And you now need to go ahead and select your version of Windows. So I'm using a 64-bit version, which means I need to go ahead and select 64. You then need to go Save File. And once the file has finished downloading, you then need to run the setup file. You will now get a window pop up that looks like this. You need to press I agree if you do agree to the terms and then press install and it will now begin to install the latest version of Visual C++. Once this has finished, you now need to go ahead and restart your computer. 
so ensure you have got everything saved and closed down. Once your computer has restarted, go ahead and launch the game and see if it resolved the issue you're having. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do if you're using the Xbox app version of the game is to open up the start menu and you now need to type in power shell and we then need to right click on Windows PowerShell and run as administrator. You now need to copy the code that's on our website and paste it in or you can go ahead and type this in manually. And once you have typed in the code or pasted it into PowerShell, we now need to press enter. Once the code has finished running, you now need to restart your computer. After you have restarted your computer, you now need to go ahead and launch Forza Horizon 5 and you will need to install the game and services before you can run the game. So if I go ahead and open Horizon 5, it will now take me to the Microsoft Store and I will then have the option to install the game and services. You need to click on to install and once the game and services have finished installing, you can now go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved the issue you're having. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the taskbar and you now need to select task manager. You now need to go across to users and you now need to sign out any other user profiles that are currently got the disconnected status. As you can see, I currently have another user profile that is signed in but obviously it's not in use because I'm signed into my computer sluggish account. But as you can see, it's using CPU and memory and disk and network. So you need to ensure you are the only user profile that is currently signed into Windows. And to sign out the other user profile, just make sure that they don't have any work open on their user profile that they need to say before signing them out, otherwise they will lose their work. But to sign them out, all you need to do is select the user profile and then click on sign out. You then need to click on sign out user and once you have signed out the user go ahead and launch Forza Horizon 5 and see if that resolved the issue. And if you did have to sign out another user profile on your computer hopefully that resolved the issue you're having as that user profile will be using resources that you need for the game and they could be having a program running that could be causing issues with Forza Horizon 5 running as well. If that didn't fix the crashing problems or errors that you're receiving in the game, the next thing we need to do is actually launch the game. Once you have loaded into the game, you now need to select options and you then need to click onto video. The first setting that you need to change is the resolution. You need to lower the resolution slightly. If you've got it currently set to a really high resolution, then this could be causing your game to crash or black screen or freeze. So just lower the resolution to something that looks good on your display. Once you have done that, you now need to change the frame rate. You need to ensure that it's on 60 FPS or if you don't have a very good computer, then you need to change this to 30 FPS. We can now go ahead and save these settings and then launch into game and see if that resolved the crashing issues that you're having or if you're having freezing or black screen problems, see if it resolved those problems as well. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is click onto graphics. And you now need to change the preset to high or medium depending on what your preset is currently set to. If yours is currently set to ultra, go to high. If your preset's on high, then change it to medium. Once you've changed that, go ahead and launch into game and see if that resolved the issues you're facing as well. If that didn't, then the next thing you can do is run a benchmark mode and then see what settings Forza Horizon 5 reckons your PC can handle. Also, when you are changing these settings, remember to click on the save button at the bottom or press the space bar to save the settings. Another thing that can cause the game to crash is using a vehicle that its appearance has been changed. So use a vehicle that has not had its appearance changed, like the colors changed on the vehicle, graphics added to the vehicle, or if it's using a different spoiler, alloys, side skirts, and things like that. So that is our second video on resolving issues with Forza Horizon 5 crashing, freezing, or giving you black screen problems and stuff like that. I hope this video did help you out and resolve the issues you were facing. If you did like the video, then click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.